Hello, hello. Today is uh, day 18 of our 21 days, again in the home stretch, and I'm reading out of 365 Days to Embracing Forbidden Emotions. So when we run out of topics in the thread, then I just go back to the book. So <clears throat> here's the quote. Never give up on something that you really want. It's difficult to wait, but more difficult to, to regret unknown. <clears throat> this is great in theory, but it can be hard in practice. Here's the thing. I want to understand about myself. Do I have a death grip of sorts on something that I want? Am I grasping for it with angst? If I can feel peace about whether I want, whether what I want comes to me or not, I'm free. I'm going to read that again. If I can feel peace about whether what I want comes to me or not, I am free. How do I do this? I practice turning over my desire to my version of a higher power. If I don't trust my version of a higher power, I can start by updating how I see my higher power. As I learn to update whatever could be a source of peace for me, it's easier to let go of my need for my desires to be fulfilled. This is a very different place to be because it's not me pushing the ego's agenda. It's me learning to tune in to a force of good that can guide and direct me for the highest good. It could be possible that what I think I want and need isn't actually for my highest good. As I learn to soften the grip I have on my desires, I open up to something even better for me to come into my experience. This is a journey of unhooking from the world's agenda, the ego's agenda. The more I practice turning my desires over to a higher power, the more I open to the highest expression of, my, of things in my life, the more amazing things can turn out with grace and ease. Thought for the day, what if today I notice I'm gripping onto some desire? I can practice turning it over to a higher power. I could say, take this from me. Show me how to let go and let you in. <clears throat> Let's tap. Karate chop. Even though I have things I want, things I really desire, and I get tired of the wanting, <clears throat> I choose to honor this truth right now. Even though I have many things that I want, maybe not so many, But why aren't I getting what I want? I see that happening for other people. Why not me? I choose to honor this truth right now. Even though I want what I want. And I'm ready to get it. I've done everything I can think of to get it. And yet still it's lacking. I choose to honor my truth right now. I'm go to the eyebrow. These things that I want. And yet they're not coming into being. There must be something wrong with me. It must be my fault. I must be missing something here. I must be very misaligned. But what if the truth is, it's very different than I think. What if these things I want aren't coming yet? Maybe not at all. Because it's possible there's something better for me. Way more for my highest good. And that's a tough pill to swallow. Because I'm most certainly not getting what I want. But what if 
I really can start to see this differently. What if it's possible that I just need to release my grip? Even just 5%. Loosen my resistance around not getting what I want. And what if over time that creates space for something I couldn't even imagine to happen? because I was so tightly clinging to what I believed was best for me. And what if in the letting go, a little bit more each time, I create the space for something so much better for me to come into being. And take a breath. And if that helped you, great. And then see you back here tomorrow. Do it as many times as you need to. See you back here tomorrow for day 19. We're re racing towards the finish. Take care. Bye for now.